My name's Matthew Proudman. I work for Perform Group as a marketing executive. A typical day and week in my job um, normally consists of a brainstorming session. Um, so if we've got any campaigns coming up, uh, such as the Ballon d'Or, the World Cup, we would normally have a, a brainstorming session uh, regarding uh, how we're going to uh, how we're going to market a goal uh, and fit in with that particular event. Um, so that yeah, that's more the social side of things. Um, but I, we do also work across commercial products, uh, so marketing of apps um, and also customer, so email. Um, so yeah, f fairly broad, but we are kind of set in brand and digital. My main skills to do my job would be um, creativity, uh, I think, because um, we've got to come up with some good ideas uh, for various marketing events and, and campaigns. Uh, being creative and kind of thinking outside the box um, is one kind of skill uh, that we have to do to try and stand out from everyone else. Um, and communication within a team, um, I think, is, is fairly big. Um, not just in our team as well, but also worldwide. So making sure everyone knows what they're doing. When I had to apply for this current role, uh, the skills that were requested uh, were creativity, um, good communication skills, uh, and past experience uh, within that particular field, whether that would be placement or uh, a university degree. My time at uni um, that helped me get my job uh, was probably working in a team. Um, a lot of um, modules were based around teamwork uh, and came up with new ideas, uh, presentation skills uh, and communicating in a group. Um, but also uh, my placement helped me to gain more skills and gave me soft skills uh, in the office as well and um, gave me an idea of, um, of how marketing communications department worked. The module that gave me um, the skills that I need to do my job today uh, would be uh, a branding module, um, purely because that's what I work in now. Um, so that that helped me gain the skills. Um, it wasn't a, it wasn't a team it wasn't a team based um, module, um, but it helped me look into different brands and how they uh, how they communicate with customers and consumers, um, and again their brand personalities, how they build uh, their brand uh, over a number of years. Advice to prepare for employment: Make sure your CV is good. Uh, I use the career advice service here uh, at uni. Um, so I should make sure um, that your CV's uh, up to scratch, uh, but also uh, placements that you do. Um, obviously there's, uh, there's a placement uh, on the course, but placements outside of the course are always useful, um, as I did about three or four outside of, the, uh, outside of uni as well. One of my favourite memories at university probably was my placement. Um, that just kind of opened my eyes to what I wanted to do um, yeah, and how a marketing department works. That would probably be my highlight. Plus, it was working in cricket as well, which is uh, my favourite sport. I took um, advantage of uh, the Champions League uh, final volunteering uh, when, it was at, uh, when it was in Wembley. Um, I worked in Hyde Park at the Champions League Festival, uh, which is a great experience and, again, another good thing for my CV. I would recommend sports marketing course to others. Uh, it gives you a solid foundation uh, and prepares you for uh, working life. Uh, I learnt a lot, lot at uni. Um, and I think, yeah, again, the placements uh, that, that you can get um, are second to none. So I'd encourage anyone to, to do the course.